Hey the writers, so it's July 6th and this week I'm going to talk about The Once and Future King and the story we already know by heart. And um, I'm going to my edition first, which Dan asked to see all of our editions of the book. And this is a 1958 edition. I'm pretty sure it was my grandmother's. And so that is super duper cool. It's just, you know, one of the little old book with buckles and, you know, all that fun stuff. And um, also though, I have The Book of Merlin by the same author. <laughs> it was published post posthumously in 1977. Um, uh, it was actually written uh, during World War II, but I, I'm not sure why it was not published. Um, but it is actually the conclusion to the book, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all going to read that after the first hundred pages of the story, you know. The end is kind of a big part of a book, so I'm going to read that at the last week as well. So my initial reaction to the book, I love this book. Um, it has, has that whimsical feel that Harry Potter has that most books lack. And it's, it's cool because it has that same whimsy, but it has more of an adult tinted whimsy, I guess you might call it. Yeah, the, the descriptions in this book are so imaginative and, and great and wonderful, and, and I love this sort of a book. And it had a sort of description that was severely missing in Fight Club, um, and so I missed it and I love it in this book. And so this week we've done a lot of comparisons. We've compared it to Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, and and I I would just like to say that we've read this book before, if you um, might not remember, and we've, we've watched it in movies, and we've, we've seen it a lot. This week we read about an orphan boy living with his uncle. He, um, this kind of a normal guy, kind of runty, who then meets a very old wizard, wise wizard, and and discovers he has a big destiny ahead of him. And you might recognize that same plot from maybe Star Wars or Harry Potter or even Lord of the Rings. Star Wars. Uh, he's raised by his aunt and uncle on you know just a very small, quiet farm when he meets Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then he has Yoda, and there's a prophecy, I'm pretty sure, that says he's, you know, the one to bring balance to the Force, and, and so that's, it's kind of, it, it kind of runs along the same lines as maybe Harry Potter, who is raised by his aunt and uncle, and actually has a very mean cousin, too, and, um, then he meets Dumbledore, and discovers he kind of has, you know, a destiny ahead of him as well, which is kind of like Lord of the Rings, who is raised by his uh, distant relative, who's basically an uncle, um, and, and has Gandalf, you know, old wise wizard, and then he discovers he has a destiny too, oh my god, what's happening here, you guys? The, the, this story has been around for about a thousand years, the story of King Arthur, um, and in Arthurian legends have been written by everyone from Mallory to Tennyson to Chaucer. And and I think that people are still writing about King Arthur, just maybe with different names. Other Harry still he marries Genevra, which is just another spelling of Guinevere. I'm not gonna make all of the comparisons because that would take about a, a twenty, thirty hour video. Um but just just notice as you're reading this book that you've You've seen this story a hundred times before, um, which, which I love about it. And also, just a bit of business. I, I know we haven't talked about this yet because the announcement was um, kind of in, in our quiet phase of the channel. But there's a book coming out at the end of September that we're all kind of interested in. I don't know if you've you've heard of it, The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, and so. I propose that we make this our book of October and we, you know, take out Vampire Month, which it might be a sad loss, but I think it'd be really, really cool to talk about a JK Rowling book the moment it comes out. And even if not finished reading it by the beginning of October, it's to be very, very cool to be part of that worldwide conversation. Next week is our two year anniversary. I know we are uh, old friends now. Um, so I know a few of us have talked about this a few days ago. But we need to have a chat uh, next Thursday, sometime in the afternoon or evening, so we should start getting that together too. And and that's it for this video. 
So, Dan, I will see you on Monday, and everybody have a great weekend.